Ryan Smith, the author of all the shred books, his latest book, Blast the Sugar Out, all in the effort to get us healthy and then not lose weight as well. The phone number again is 713-284-1055 if you have a question. On our Facebook page, I'm going to go to, uh, let's see, uh, Amy Levick, who says, what about fruit? Should we calculate that sugar when trying to stay under the recommended amount? So a lot of people get confused. Is it sugar and fruit? Can you eat all the fruit you want? Perfect. Or is that a problem also? Sugar and fruit is better for you. Let me tell you why. It's a natural sugar, but it, it's what it's com it comes with. It comes with phytonutrients, plant nutrients, mm -hmm. vitamins, comes with minerals, comes with uh, other nutrients. So the sugar and fruit is good for you. When we're counting that six teaspoons and the nine teaspoons limit per day, it's not including fruit. Okay. It's only talking about the added sugars, the excess sugars, the sugars that are put into products, not natural sugars. Okay. Good question. Sarah Hubble says she's listening to your recommendation of 1,500 milligrams of salt a day, but what is the recommended for endurance athletes? Well, good for you, Sarah. Yeah. Uh, she's <laughs> endurance athlete, and she sweats uh, more than that out daily. So how do they, you know, how much to replace yeah. when you're that so kind of athlete? So if you are a rigorous or endurance athlete, the rules are a little different for you. So when we talk about things like Gatorade and vitamin water, having too much sugar, you actually need more sugar because they're working out so hard. And they need to have those sports drinks that can replace those electrolyte replacement drinks. So in that particular case, it's fine. It is not fine when someone is not working out and they're sitting on the couch at their desk and they're gulping down these high sugar I beverages. I have to say, I carry around the Gatorade bottle so people think that I'm a high <laughs> Uh, Rachel has a question for us. Hi there, Rachel. Hi. My question is, how do I combat my urge for sugar? I don't care to eat food, food, and it's so strong that I do it unconsciously. Exactly. I will grab for sugar. It's like and an addiction, it, isn't it? it like, it, it is an addiction. I mean, it is an addiction. It is. And so what, uh, what can, on the upside of that is, what can I eat when those urges come? Because they are strong. Well, here's the idea. I believe there are two types of people. There are people who can have a little bit of something and throw the rest away. Mm -hmm. And there are those who can't have even a taste of it because they want the whole container right. of it. Yeah. So you have to know who you are. <laughs> yeah. If you're the kind of person that cannot have just a couple of bites of it, just cut it out. You got to cut it out. Yeah. There's no you, way you, you just have, have to cut it out. You can't have just a little bit of heroin. Yeah, you, <laughs> yeah. I was going to do a little bit of heroin today, right? Yeah. Yeah, no. You got to, but, but, there are some things like frozen grapes are really sweet. They taste like popsicles. So yeah, you, you freeze grapes yeah, and you eat good. it, they taste like pop, right? Everyone, have you had She that? wants to roll them in sugar though. What's gonna taste like chocolate? <laughs> well, well, she wants chocolate, so dark chocolate, chocolate is good for you. Yeah. Take some dark chocolate, put it over some strawberries, right? Get some natural sugar, dark chocolate is good for you, and that's a way to do it. So combine the healthier ways of, of the sweetness. In my book, we have those kind of snacks right, in my book. Right. Yeah, try, try them, try them, and then your body will, will, will simmer down, all right? <laughs> uh, let's go to the phone lines. We have Curly on the line. Good morning, Curly. Uh, good morning, uh, Deborah and Dr. Ian Smith. Uh, my problem is I'm an avid exerciser, exercise some sort every day, uh, have had bariatric surgery. And I'm not losing weight. I'm, I'm exercising. I eat small portions because that's all I can have. But I'm not losing weight. So I would like to know what can I do because my doctor is consistently on me about it. And I am type 2 diabetic. I don't this take medication. A, and I don't want of, to. Um, of, of nutrient-dense food, like what kind of food are yeah. you eating? So there are two things. I don't know her specifics for right. Curly, but I know one thing is that if she's only eating small foods, the food she could be eating could still be high in calories, even though it's a small amount. Right. That's number one. Number two, as far as exercise is concerned, sometimes people are doing the wrong exercise. So we say you should exercise, but depending on your body type and your goals, mm -hmm. you may need to switch up the exercise. For example, I believe in interval training, right. because interval training really is a great calorie burner. And so she could be walking on a treadmill at, this, at a steady state, and steady state exercises are very different than dynamic exercises. Right. Bur or resistance call, exercises. Right, or yeah. burst exercises. Right. 30 minutes fast, 20 minutes slow. 30 minutes fast, it's that interval. Confusing the body. Confusing the body. And so I believe that someone like herself probably, I, I don't not think she's exercising, right. but it's a type of exercise. She needs to go to Camp Gladiator. Camp Gladiator. Yeah. Yeah. 